What is the cause of that sound? Anytime the Embraer E195 is passing overhead my roof. Plenty of people say don't ask about this one. So many people have asked about it. They call it the well sound. That is the update for today. Today, another update. Once camera show within the full arm. Update as you all know. Good. Together with my lovely crew members, we don't welcome one another. Zip in and everybody will go follow us and talk this move right on the entire roadway. They download all our bags and put it back. And they road clear. The sound is actually unique on its own with this particular aircraft. Another aircraft that has that same sound that uses the same engine as the E195 E2 is the Airbus A220. It has that same sound coming out from the engine as well. So when does it happen? It happens anytime the pilot uh, moves the thrust lever to accelerate or something like after starting the engine you want to taxi once you move the thrust lever you will hear that sound then at any time you are taxiing or anything once they advance the thrust lever you will hear that sound on takeoff you will hear it people living around agege ah agege people ah they want agege everyone people living around the gege must have been hearing that sound very well you know from the e2 and from the a220 of ebom air yeah then again, when you are coming in to land, maybe uh, you are on an idle thrust, you're on an idle thrust and gears down the auto throttle, spools the thrust lever again. You hear that sound again. Now, we that are pilots, it, it was a bit of a unique sound for us, for the aircraft initially when we started flying it. But we have to like make inquiries and to know, to know the reason why that sound happened. From uh, a reliable engineer uh, that works on the Embraer E195 E2, he gets to let me know that the sound actually is coming from the bleed valve. The bleed valve that okay, bring it close. Like I told you guys, we have on the on the engine we have the uh, high pressure and the low pressure. So. The bleeds that is coming from the high pressure and the low pressure, you will not really see the schematic, but I have the opportunity to see the schematic from the engineers, how it, how it functions. The bleed, the bleed uh, from the low pressure comes through this way. The one from the high pressure comes through this way, and they meet at a point. They have a valve at which once the, the thrust lever is advanced, that valve opens to regulate the high pressure and the low pressure the one that has the sufficient air that is needed for the to go into the packs for cooling of the cabin is regulated by that valve so when whenever you advance the thrust lever what happens like it's like someone using his mouth to whistle like we do you know you have to shape your mouth tiny for you to be able to blow that whistle so the valve is closed so by the time the air is passing through it that sound that wailing sound that we hear it passes through the tiny distance as the valve is opening so as the valve opens wide you will stop hearing that sound so that is actually what happens because some persons used to ask does it mean that the engine is faulty no it's not faulty it's the design of the engine so once you advance the thrust, the valve starts to open gradually. It doesn't really open like um, once you advance thrust lever, it just open wide. It takes it time gradually to just open little. So you that is blowing whistle with your mouth, you know you have to shape your your mouth round and you know like you lock it. The, if you open your mouth wide, ah. You will not be able to blow that whistle again so that is the simplest explanation to let you guys know why that sound happens all right but see yet it do, it's not any fault at all on the engine itself okay so don't take it 
whenever you hear that sound you think maybe the engine wants to explode or whatever is the design of the engine but from the inquiries i'm getting uh pratt and whitney that manufactured the engine they are already working on modifying the engine so that that sound will be uh removed from the new engines that they are going to uh, manufacture for the Embraer E195 E2 or any other aircraft that might uh, like to use that engine for its aircraft operation. So that is basically it. So anytime you hear that sound, don't ever feel that there is anything or that something is going wrong. It's normal. Huh? Uh, but it's just that some places, I heard uh, even some places um, uh, that you have to do like noise abatement and stuff like that, you know, the companies that are flying the aircraft, they always try to obey the noise abatement procedure around the airports that uh, require all those, especially within Europe and all that. But the aircraft on its own with the engine is a fantastic aircraft. So don't be bothered, don't be stressed, don't, don't panic or don't even think anything otherwise. The aircraft and the engines are doing fantastically well. All right. So if you have any further questions about this, please do well to drop it under the comment section. And whenever I see that, I will try to bring the update for you guys. I still love you guys. Captain Callistus. Always cheers, guys.